What's up, Deep Sea Divers? This is kj 4 a and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play. This is uh, episode 17, and we are going to just head back down to our main base, our HQ, as it were. And uh, we're going to continue building. I went ahead and grabbed um, a bunch of uh, titanium, and we are going to continue building this base. Um, you know, I I'm kind of torn on what I want to do with the... Uh, I I'm kind of torn on how I want to handle the whole... Um, situation with uh, with the witch of McCall's the uh, solar panels because I kind of feel like the solar panels are a little overpowered. I kind of don't want to use them, um, but I, maybe I'll use them in the, for the time being. No, you know what? I don't want to use them at all. Maybe we should uh, maybe we should disable them. I'm not really sure. Um, I really don't want to use them at all, but I also don't want to like mess around with another power station right now. I kind of want to just make my base. So we're going to continue today building the base, but I think next video we're going to go to where we uh, have the, the geothermal uh, heat signature things, and we're going to bring those over here, I think, and then stop using the solar panels, because I don't really like the solar panels. I mean, I like them, but I just feel like they're overpowered. Actually, they're really overpowered for what they... Someone, someone said it perfect um, in the comments section of the last video. They're overpowered for what they give you, and that is um, very, very true. Okay. Alright, so what are we doing over here? Okay, so this is the entrance way. This is going to continue going up there. To the right is going to be storage. I totally forgot how I was going to do the storage. I think I was going to do the storage on the roof. Oh no, this isn't going to work. What was this going to be over here? I totally forgot. Oh, crap. I totally forgot. Um, yeah, we're going to have leaks in this thing. It's gonna, It should actually fill up with water. Didn't I do this on purpose? I don't remember. It doesn't look like I'm getting leaks over here, though. Only over here. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Anyway, I think I, I think if I remember the last video, I was going to kind of like let this thing overflow on purpose. Just so you could see how it works. But it doesn't seem like it's overflowing. I'm not sure what happened here. Hull integrity restored. All right. Draining systems initiated. Well, there's no water in here, so there's no point in draining anything. Anyway. um, <clears throat> Okay, so... Last video, I... I remarked that I was... Can we get rid of these guys? Yeah, get the hell out of here. That's right. Hit the road, jackass. Anyway, last episode, we decided that this right here was going to be our storage area. And the storage area is going to have two levels to it. And in order to have two levels to it, you can only put the... You can only put the ladder in a certain number of places. You can put the ladder in any four spots around the outside. One, two, three, four. Or you can put it in the middle. I absolutely hate the ladder in the middle, and you can't put it on the outside of an area. Well, you can, but the ladder would just get in the way. Um, like if I was gonna, I was gonna put the ladder right here, but then I decided another uh, part of the base was gonna come over here. So I've decided that we are not gonna have another part of the base come over here because I need to make room for that ladder. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make the ladder right now. Oh, just so you could see what I'm talking about. Let's put this as number two, and this is number three. You wanna dance now? Punk-ass freaking stupid things. Um, Alright, so let's go do that right now. We could bypass this now. Alright. So, over here, this is this is going to be my storage area. You don't want the ladder in the middle of the room. It just sucks. It's the worst. And you can't. You don't want to put the ladder in front of one of these doors, because then the ladder will be blocking the doors. So what I want to do is I want to put the ladder right here. So let's just do that right now. There we go. And we don't have the titanium. That's okay. And that is going to be, this is right here is going to be the storage room. And what we're going to do is we are going to, can I actually put down storage stuff without the titanium? I'm not sure if I can. Let's try. I think we can. We can put down four on each side. And these are really hard to line up. But we're going to do our best. Two. Three. And four. There's no way these are going to line up properly, so I'm just going to deal with it. So with that amount of storage, we will have plenty of storage, even on this first level. You know, we probably don't even need storage upstairs. But we will set up some storage for upstairs as well, just because, you know, we have a tendency of uh, collecting a lot of things and not having a lot of room for it. So that goes there. And then we're just going to do that on all four sides of this and then we go upstairs 
and then we'll have more storage upstairs. So that's plenty of storage. Over here will be our crafting room. We set that up last video, um, along with the uh, desk and stuff. All right, so looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Um, I think what we're going to do is we are now going to set up where we want the... Uh, we're going to want two, two alien containment, or as I like to call them, aquarium. Uh, they're going to hold our fish. We want one set of fish that's going to give us food, and we want one set of fish that's going to give us water. So let's let's uh, set that up right now. We're gonna have to go back up into the uh, into the sub and grab some materials now. All right, now the first thing we want to do down here is we want to stop relying on going up to the cyclops. So what we're gonna first do now is we're gonna we're gonna start making our storage area because that is you know where we're just, it's just gonna be where we can store everything. So let's do this now. Okay, there we go. That's one set of storage stuff. This will be titanium and quartz. And titanium will go in here. And the quartz will go in here. And we'll probably just put glass in here, I guess. Nah, I kind of like the quartz and glass going in here and then putting any excess quartz in the second locker. Alright, let's go get some more stuff. So I think that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make the... Um, uh, the fabricator because that way we can craft stuff down here. What the hell was that? I was looking outside here. I still got seeing some this is a pretty cool place for a base It's not far. It's not deep down enough. I think next time I'm gonna make a, a base in the Grand Reef All right, so fabricator we need titanium wiring kit and computer chip Titanium wiring kit and computer chip. Well titanium's easy. Let's get the wiring chip and the Wiring chip wiring wiring chip. That's it That'll tell me exactly what I need. I need wire and I need a chip. Wiring kit and a chip. Computer chip. Wiring kit and computer chip. Let's do this. Okay, I just made the two items I need. I have to go out and, um... Actually, let's make sure we have what we need. I have to actually go out and get some, uh... Get some silver, but, you know, it didn't take that long, so... Let's get on up there and make the, uh, fabricator, and then we'll be able to craft stuff uh, within our base. And we can start really moving stuff Welcome in here. And next episode, we are definitely going to work on power that is not um, that is not solar powered, and we're gonna just get rid of the the, the stupid the stupid solar power, you know? Because I don't know, I've been using it all the time. I want to use something different. Um, titanium, of course. That is okay. That should be right here. Check it out. What up? And we can put the quartz in here. And the glass. All right, it's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. Uh, let me take a look really quickly at... Uh, yeah, so what I think what we'll do is we'll start using the bioreactor and the thermal plant to, uh, to get our power. Take apart those solar panels. There we go, people. All right, we can now craft in here. So the next thing I want to get going is the power cell charger, because the power cell charger is very important um, to keeping the Cyclops going. Although we don't have enough, well, I was going to say we don't have enough power in the base to power this thing, but honestly, this thing really doesn't draw from the base. I don't. I think it's kind of broken at the moment, but whatever. All right, so computer. I don't have this. I don't have the lithium, or I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the silver for the computer chips. Oh, I'll get some silver in between videos. Let's um. Let's continue building the base. All right, so in order to build, we're going to need this. Man, we're almost out of titanium as well. Got to do some farming. Take some of this and some of this. Actually, you know what? Let's just take all of the glass. And why don't we make our alien containment thing right here? How much glass does it take? Ooh, it takes a lot of glass for this. But it's well worth it. We're going to have, like, 50 different ways of eating. We could... This, um... This base could probably hold, like, multiple people. Um, I think we're going to put this right here. By the time I get all the food stuff set up, this base will be able to hold, like, like, ten people. Like, you know. So, uh, we'll just put this right here so it's easier. Now, you know what? I, I'm sorry. I don't like it there. We're going to put it on the side. Now, we're going to put this over here. Here, here, here. There we go. 
and then we'll go upstairs and make the top part of it so it can hold even more fishies. Multiple fishies. See why I made all that glass? See? And we're already out of it. I'm going to have to go farm up some more quartz. I might end up taking apart my base, um, my other base. I don't really have any need for it, and it's just a bunch of dead materials sitting there. There's not much point to having it, so... Um, although there's one there's one good reason to make multiple out, outposts in this game there is actually a good reason for it because there's a room called you know what I don't think I have it yet let's uh, let's do this let's go right here and look at blueprints there's a room called a Did I, do I have it scanner room yeah no I'm pretty sure I, I got the scanner room but whatever, take it from me, there's a, there's a thing called the scanning room. And the scanning room can scan for materials in the biome it's in. I think it's the biome. I know it has a radius, but I don't know what the radius is. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to make multiple outposts around the game. And then, like, let's say you want something that you know is only in a certain biome. You go to your outpost in that biome, you hit the scanner room, scan for what you're looking for, and then just go out and get it. But you don't need a full-fledged base for that. And my base up there is a full-fledged base, and it needs to come apart. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the base, um, the outposts, just basically a scanner room and whatever the base needs to keep that scanner room powered, basically. And they'll just be outposts. It just makes sense. All right. So let's come out here, and let's um, expand on this a bit. All right. So we're going to put the other... Uh, uh, we don't have any glass for this, do we? Crap. Man, we are really low on materials. Like, these bases are expensive. I'm going to take apart my other base. Um, next video for sure. Maybe not, maybe not next video. I'll probably do a little bit on video, a little bit in between. But I mean, seriously, look at this. We have like... Yeah, we, we have not a lot of materials. Well, let's turn some of this into glass. And then we'll make that extra room. And then we're going to go start taking apart our other base. D do I not have a scanner room? Am I just missing it? Or... Scanner room, scanner room. It's not in there. It's not in there. And I don't see it in here either. Uh, scanner room, there it is. You guys probably be like, bottom left side cage. All right, so we do have the scanner room. So what we need to do is we need to set up the scan. We need to take apart our other base, in, in, like totally, and then have one room, a scanner room, and whatever power I need for that room. And that's it. Nothing else. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that for sure. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and turn some of this into glass. And we have to work on power as well. T Next video is probably going to be power based. Although we don't have our room set up for power. You know what, instead of setting up the room that we were thinking about, let's set up our rooms that are going to be for power. The rooms that are going to be for power are going to be right off this entrance this entrance hallway. Now again, this is going to be an entrance hallway. It's going to come through here, it's going to come up here, there will be nothing in these rooms. And it's going to go another one, another room, another room, another room, and just keep going. And the, the facilities for the base will branch off of these rooms. So this will be the power room, and the power room is going to go this way. We're going to have multiple power rooms. Um, the first power room is going to go this way, and it is going to be a power room for... Uh, the bioreactor. Now, a lot of people tell me the bioreactor sucks. I know, I get it. I don't care. I want to use it anyway. I, I know the bioreactor is not as good as anything, but I know. I, I simply do not care. Um, can we have that go over here, or should we just have... I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. We're going to have the, we're gonna have the uh, bioreactor, a room with a bioreactor, a room with a bioreactor, and then two rooms coming this way, and those rooms are going to have fish. Yes, yes, that will work. Alright, so let's put this right here. The whole integrity is going to be a problem. I don't really care. Not that I don't care, but I actually I actually want to see the area flood just so I could show you what it looks like. Alright, we're going to need some titanium. I don't think we took all the titanium out of the base. So... Yeah, there's no point in having major outposts everywhere. And there's like, you know, instead of going and like farming for an hour for all the materials, I can just take apart that other useless base. So, might as well. What the hell am I coming over here for? Go titanium. None! Oh, crap! See what I'm saying? I'm out of titanium. I think we still have some on the sub. But you know what? Screw it. Let's dump off everything. Let's go to the other base and start dismantling it. 
I've never dismantled a base. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it in a weird way. All right, so let's go right here. I'll label these off cam off camera. Uh, this is gonna be for miscellaneous for now. There, right there, there, there. You're all good. Let's go. Let's go dismantle. Okay, here we are in the other base. I don't know what's gonna happen to stuff when I deconstruct, but I really don't care. Um, I got the. I, I don't need to grow all those things. I I, I know what I want to grow, so I didn't need to grow all those plants. Um, the, the plants I'm growing, the, uh, what is it, lantern fruit? That's the bomb right there. That is the bomb. Okay. Yeah, good. Alright, plenty of room, plenty of room. Alright, so now we just need to come in here. Um, this could be our main room. This right here could be our room with the, uh, we gotta give her all these fish. Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be a lot of work. All right, so we already took apart the uh, we already took apart the uh, the moon pool, obviously. So, all right, let's take apart this. We're gonna grab some of these fish. We're gonna take this bad boy apart. That's good. I don't want to fill my inventory too much. All right, so let's get up top. I don't know what happens to all this stuff when I take this stuff, when all the fish and stuff when I take this stuff apart. I guess they just fall into the nothingness of nothing. I don't know. Don't really care. Goodbye, fishies. All right, so we're pretty much already full. Take this apart. Take this apart. Okay, so that room's empty. So let's uh, let's get out to the um, let's get out to our ship and drop off some uh, drop off some mats because we're totally full. Get back to the. The Cyclops. Did we ever name this thing? We never named the damn thing, did we? Oh, well. Cyclops is a cool name. Let's just go with that. I don't really care where any of this stuff goes. Just get it off me. There we go. And fishies. Little fishy fishies. You guys can get out of there. Yeah, it's going to be pretty quick, too. This won't even take that long. What I'm going to do is this is going to be the scanner room area. Let's see if I can take apart that that T junction there, that cross junction, whatever. Because I don't really need one. That's cross junction. It might not let me take it apart though, because it's connecting two two areas. Oh, cool. All right, very good. So let's uh. Put one of these glass ones in there. Okay, and this one's empty, so we could take this one apart. There we go. Titanium for days, people. You know it. That's why we're doing this. We could probably take apart some of the uh, structural integrity things inside, like these, uh, I figure what they're called, reinforcement thingies. Alright, that's all the base is going to be. We'll take off that top part. we got to take apart the, the fish tank first. Oh, Jesus. got to come back up here quickly. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. We don't need more than outposts. I mean, that's just needless farming for no good reason. And I know you guys don't don't care because, you know... You know, not that you don't care, but you don't really think about it because you're like, ah, whatever, farming. But, you know, with a limited amount of time to make videos, uh, that's needless uh, time wasting in my book. Okay. Hey, look at the green stuff down there. Damn. Okay, so let's get up top. We're going to grab some of these guys first. We're going to grab some of these, some of these thingies. Just need four. Grab some fish. I don't even think I need to grab these peeper fish. I'm pretty sure I already have some, but honestly, I'm not even gonna need to eat them. But whatever. Am I full? No. All right, let's get down here. I like the fact that you can farm these creep vine clusters, but man, that that like yellow or orange glow thing is really irritating.
it's so nice that you get everything back, you know? You guys might be thinking, Cage, what are you doing, man? Like, you know, you're taking a part of the stuff. What are you going to do for this or that? Yeah, you get all of the materials back, 100%. And that is a wonderful thing. Any game that gives you 100% of your materials back when you take stuff apart is gets two thumbs up in my book. It really drives me nuts when you don't get anything back or only get, like, half of the materials back. I mean, you should at least get half of the materials back in any game. But when you don't get anything back, God, that pisses me off. I work way too hard for my materials to... Maybe if I put something down in the wrong spot or if I want to move stuff, it's kind of bullshit that I have to, like, lose everything just because I want to move something. Not cool. I still have not gotten sick from eating the same stuff over and over, guys. So, I don't know. I always overeat, too, because I'm trying to get my thirst up using those uh, uh, lantern fruit, but the lantern fruit gives you more hunger than thirst. So I'm always eating when I'm when I'm not hungry anymore, and I still haven't gotten sick, so... I don't know. Either it's not a thing, or I've just been getting lucky. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's probably a ladder in there. Yeah, here we go. Stupid ladder. Take apart this reinforcement. Take apart this reinforcement. Do we have any need for a scanner room? No, we don't. We'll make a scanner room eventually. Alright. So that's it. Let's just uh, take apart the top part and then uh, that's it. This base is done. We'll take apart most of the storage. We're not going to have to leave too much storage here. We'll leave a couple of things of storage, you know, just for whatever. And this will be an outpost. That's an outpost right there. That's all you need. Alright, so take this apart. Take you apart. No, actually, you know what? You know what? Fabricators can stay. Fabricators can stay. We'll leave the health kit thing too. Alright guys, I'm just going to be taking this thing apart. Not much more to say here. So I am going to call this one a little bit early. But uh, what are we going to do next episode? So next episode, maybe we'll make the scanner room. Maybe we'll get power to our other base. Uh, thermal power to our other base. Maybe we'll make, you know... Um, maybe we will make... Let me see. There you go. Maybe we'll get uh, maybe we'll get the power transmitter to bring the thermal plant power over to the other base. Maybe we'll make bioreactors, or maybe we'll just make a scanner room here. I'm not really sure. All those sound pretty interesting, though, so it's going to be awesome either way. So we're going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode 17. We'll see you next time for episode 18. Till then, take it easy.